Hello and welcome to today's program. Thank you so much for joining with us. You know, God is moving by His precious Holy Spirit throughout all of the earth, and we're going to be sharing some of the exciting things that have been transpiring over the last weeks and months, not only within our ministry, but ministry all around the world. This is truly the greatest outpouring of the Holy Spirit that we have ever had the ability to be a part of. And I want to thank you for joining with us today. Whatever your needs are during this next half hour of time, we are believing God for the miracles that you need in your life. In fact, today's program is going to be sharing a very special guest, uh, Etta, while we were on the road. She was interviewing uh, uh, evangelist Patricia Franklin Thomas in North Carolina from Concord, North Carolina. She is an author, she's a missionary and an evangelist as well, and a dear friend of ours. And God is going to move in your life as you hear this dynamic testimony. I believe that. She has a brand new book out called Miracles, Miracles, and More Miracles, and I want to tell you that's what God is wanting to do for you today. Well, I want to bring a little uh, update to you here today about what the Lord is doing. God has been, been doing tremendous things within our ministry and other ministries throughout the earth. We uh, Earlier today, when I was in the office, we got word from uh, one of our dear friends and fellow ministers in Pakistan. Uh, God is pouring out His Spirit. It is amazing how our ministry right here in beautiful South Carolina, right here along the Grand Strand, how it is having an impact around the globe. And we are so thankful just to be a part of the moving and stirring of the Holy Spirit. They've invited us to come, and we're in prayer about all of these things, and we don't know what the future holds, but we know that uh, they are fasting, they are praying. There is a great outpouring, a tremendous outpouring of the Holy Spirit, and many, many miracles are taking place over there. In one crusade, over 250,000 people gave their lives to Jesus Christ, and it is exciting to say the least. Also, for those who are in and around the Surfside Beach, South Carolina area, uh, you'll hear a little roll in in just a few moments about how you can come and join us at the Dick M. Johnson Civic Center in beautiful Surfside Beach, South Carolina, every Sunday morning at 11 o'clock. Also, if you are not uh, uh, if you're unable to come and worship with us in our Sunday morning services, you can join us live now via Ustream. And uh, you can go to our website. We'll have more information there with the link posted, how you can go. Click on that link. Also on Facebook, you can follow our ministry, Oasis of Hope Worship Center, on Facebook. And there will be a link there that you can go to and actually join into our services live or see them after they have been recorded. But God is not only doing tremendous things throughout the ends of the earth, God wants to do a miracle in your life right here today. I believe that. In just a few moments, we're going to have some music. My wife, Etta, is going to be sharing with you a powerful, dynamic testimony uh, from Patricia Franklin Thomas. What a woman of God. I have known her for many, many years. There is a supernatural anointing that is upon her life and upon her ministry. Friends, I want you to know that God still works miracles today. God still does the impossible. What's impossible with man Remember the Bible says all things are possible to them that believe and we put our trust in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You will not only be hearing about her ministry, her book, her exciting testimony, but we're believing that before this program goes off the air, as she prays, as I pray in just a moment, we're expecting tremendous supernatural miracles in your life. It doesn't matter if you are going through a spiritual difficulty, a family problem, perhaps you have been depressed or you have have even been suicidal. Maybe you were going through financial problems or physical uh, frailty in your body and God needs to give you a miracle. We believe in the word of the living God. We believe in the powerful name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And as God is moving throughout the earth, to the very ends of the earth, we want you to know that God is right there in your home, your hotel, wherever you are viewing this program. There are people in other, other countries that go and, and get behind walls because they are afraid to, but the gospel is not uh, to be preached openly there in some of these nations. But let me tell you, there are people behind walls that are gathering together groups just to hear the wonderful word of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Friend, we are so blessed today 
to have a God that can do the impossible. And I believe that God wants to perform mighty miracles in your life. Uh, you'll hear a little more about this book, and I want you to take time to uh, visit our website, and we'll refer you to Patricia's website as well, and, and make a note of this, and you can go and you can order that book. You'll find out more information about her ministry, how you can invite her to come and be a part of your ministry. It's going to be an exciting program today, to say the least. But right now, I want to believe God with you for believe God for the miracles you need in your life. I really sense by the Holy Spirit's leadership that God is wanting to pour out His Spirit upon your life. We're getting ready as we go into other areas. We are getting ready. We've already begun uh, interpreting into Spanish many of the shows. Now we're getting ready to interpret into Portuguese and soon to follow, we believe we'll be in French as well. But right now, God's going to meet the needs in your life. Someone that's sick and your body has been racked with pain today. Your body has been tormented with pain. I'm believing with you right now in the name of Jesus for the miracle that is needed from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. You're listening right now. You have been racked with pain. And the doctor, someone listening right now, the doctors have said that the condition you have is terminal and your days are numbered. But I want to remind you that only God holds life and death. That God is the key and the giver of life. And God says it's never over until He says it's over. We're believing with you in the name of Jesus. We're decreeing miracle power to be released upon your body and His healing virtue to flow right now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Someone struggling financially, many people listening to the sound of my voice right now, you are going through difficult moments financially and you're overwhelmed by the troubles that you're in the midst of. But in the name of Jesus, we speak forth deliverance, we speak forth wisdom, we speak forth victory and miracles in your finances in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Whatever your needs are today, get ready. You're going to hear what God, He's a God that heals cancer. He's a God that delivers from financial woes. He is a God that, well, Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. It's going to be an exciting program today. We're going to pause in just a moment. We're going to go to a special roll-in. Remember, if you're in or around the Surfside Beach, South Carolina area, come and join us at Oasis of Hope Worship Center every Sunday morning at 11 a.m. Also, uh, you can go to our website, www.jeffwoodministries.org, and you can watch the program, uh, uh, the, the television ministry, the services there, and also find out more information about our ministry and where the Crusades are being held. We'd love for you to come and take a little tour around our website. That's www.jeffwoodministries.org. Well, we're going to jump right into today's program. What an exciting show it's going to be. We're going to have a little roll in. We're going to have a very special song that I'm going to be singing. I want to tell you it's just simply entitled, I am, and he re really is. He is the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the ending of all things. Then we're going to go into the roll in, the interview with Patricia Thomas as my wife, Etta, was there uh, and, and she was ministering her testimony and word. Get ready. It's going to be an exciting program. We'll be back in just a moment. Word of the Lord, he said, I am that I am. Listen to the words of this song today and let it minister to your heart and life. When it was dark in my heart, you brought light to me, a child of darkness became a child of light and when my soul was so dry and I needed dreams the water of life 
you became to me. I am, I am, you said to me, I'm the Alpha, the Omega, the end. See, it doesn't matter what your needs might be today. Listen to the words of this next verse. You were the widow's bruise of old, and Elijah's meat. You were the shelter for old Noah. And the shepherd for the sheep, and in the fire, you were the fourth man, and the cloud by day, a fire by night for your children to lead the way. Today we're in the home of Patricia Franklin Thomas, a dear friend of ours. And Patricia, thank you for allowing us to be in your home today. Thank it's just a lovely time in the Lord. And we have waited for this time for a long time. God has a perfect timing and plan for every situation in our life. And you know that. Amen. Uh, he has anointed you uh, as far as giving your ministry of word and music. You're an evangelist, missionary, and... Uh, Anything else you want to mention that God has blessed you with? Well, I've authored this book, Miracles, Miracles, and More Miracles. While I was writing the book, I had cancer. Uh, when I first started writing the book, I didn't have cancer. But in the middle of the book, I started getting weaker and weaker and uh, found that I had lymphoma. The doctors gave me up to die. There was nothing else they could do. But I knew with God's stripes that God would heal me because he already healed us 2,000 years ago with his stripes. We were healed. So um, I was determined, the Lord put in my spirit, that millions would get saved, healed, and delivered as they read that book. So I was very determined not to lose focus, but to carry on, to hold on, to persevere and write that book. And at the end of the chapter, God healed me, and even the scars have dissipated. Most people have cancer, and 
when they do go into remission or be healed, right. either way you want to put it, some people go into remission, I feel like I had my total healing. Uh, the scars always show up, but now when I have CAT scans, the doctor says, you have an amazing story, Miss Thomas. The cancer's gone, and so are all the scars. Only God can do something. It like affected that. the doctors yes, at that they point. They were amazed. And they, if they see that God has been in control of everything, then that's that's something special there to affect doctors like that. Amen. They just see what is in the natural, mm -hmm. but we know you're a woman of faith in the supernatural, mm -hmm. and God moves through that supernatural point in your life through signs and wonders, healings, miracles. I love the title of your book, Miracles, Miracles, and More Miracles. Uh, he has given you uh, ministry also in Jamaica. Would you like to tell the people a little bit about that? Uh, yes. Uh, since my daughter's heavenly departure, I started going to Jamaica to help the orphans there, three different orphanages. And as uh, I was going year after year and bringing them uh, nice treats and having the birthday parties and all, I start weeping and crying the last time I was there, time before last I was there, and it's like the Spirit of the Lord came upon me and said, now, I want you to start building an orphanage, and I thought, uh-oh, because I've never even owned my own home, but I know that Jesus Christ said, I'm the Lord God of all flesh, is there anything too hard for me, and I knew there was nothing too hard for him. And last year, I started my first uh, building fund of $10,000. And this year, I'm going to take $20,000 by faith in God. I don't really have the money yet, but before I leave, I have the money. God always makes a way right there. God in. supplies your needs. And, and he knows exactly miraculous. what you need before you even ask. Uh -huh. But it's truly miraculous when you, you see him follow through with what he says. And he always follows through with his word. Amen. Amen. I've never seen God fail. Uh, the, the children there, I've seen them through some of your videos you put on Facebook, and we do follow you through Facebook, and that's a ministry in itself. The yeah. world is is on the, what has placed, been placed before us. Um, the children there are special to you. Absolutely. They, they can't, some of them have to completely be taken care of 24 hours a day uh -huh. with what they're afflicted with. Um, uh, they have nothing. Uh -huh. And you bring joy into your life. Is there a little special person there that you uh, remember? I know they're all special to you, yes. but uh, some maybe someone that has touched your heart. Oh, yes. Um, one little boy, when I first started going there, his name was Kevin. and. Uh, he was taking me around and showing me all the little children. And he would show me children that had been tied up. And he didn't want me to leave one child out. He wanted me to see each child. Although he couldn't talk, we understood each other because mm -hmm. he could point and mm -hmm. I knew what he was saying. And so every year I have birthday parties for these children. Some have been found in dumps, garbage dumps. Mm -hmm. Some have been found at the wall of the orphanage and some have been found in the sewage and they don't really know their names when they get there or their ages they just guess and this little boy had been there for years and he loved it was like his own little family and he didn't want me to leave before i visited and hugged and kissed every child there and um, so every year i have a birthday party for all the children but i always say come on kevin it's time to cut the cake and, uh he loves it. We've seen uh, pictures that you have posted of uh, your family there. That is part of your family Amen. there. Amen. And uh, also, I know that you're getting ready to um, go on another trip yes. to Jamaica. Mm -hmm. And we're all going to be praying for you with that, that God will meet the needs there. He's met your needs in so many ways. Amen. We've been dear friends for many years, Amen. and uh, uh, I've known the situations that have gone that. God has brought you through. I think uh, there's a song that I sing, Through the Fire. Mm -hmm. And I know you have in certain times been through the fire with your daughter Patrice. Beautiful, beautiful girl. And uh, she has gone on to be with the Lord, but her spirit lives on. I think of the drive and desire that she has, that both of you had. It's, it's going to go throughout the world. And that's why we've had that close connection 
that God's going to touch people that we, we would never even see, you may never even see, but the Spirit of God going through the airways, God uses the airways Amen. in whatever way that He wills, not our will, but His will. Uh, what you have talked about during uh, your time through the cancer and so many times there is uh, in your book, Miracle of Miracles and War Miracles, there is a chapter in there about the prophetic word that my husband Jeff Wood, Reverend Jeff Wood, gave to you years ago. Elaborate a little bit about that because that's that is very special. It's kind of a uh, thing that that makes puts your ministry forward. Uh, yeah, thrust it forward. Um, I uh, had a child, Patrice, as you know, um, that was born with Turner syndrome, and it affected her growth. And um, I kept trusting God. The doctors told me there was nothing they could do, and I kept trusting God and believing God for her healing. At the time, I was on welfare, living in a house housing project in Charleston, West Virginia. I kept trusting God and speaking the word because the word of God says you can have whatsoever you say it. And I kept trusting God and speaking healing over Patrice. And God started showing me things and visions. Well, Pastor Jeff was at our church and uh, the church I was going to at the time. And he called me out of a crowd and he told me God was pleased with me and that to go home and dream the biggest dream I possibly could because God was going to give it to me. Well, I knew what he meant, just mm -hmm. think of something. But I fell sound asleep, went into this wonderful dream, and it was just like I could hear a voice of an angel, a young lady with a voice of an angel singing in this huge auditorium. And I looked at, and I said, Lord, who is that young lady with a voice of an angel singing in the huge auditorium? And as I asked God that, her face started becoming closer and closer to me. I didn't see a little deformed child. I saw a healed child, a beautiful young teenager singing with the voice of an angel before 23,000 people. And that was uh, what Jeff had prophesied. Yes. That go home and dream the biggest dream you possibly can. God's heard your prayers. He's pleased with you. And, he, and don't let anyone talk you out of it. And I didn't. And that dream came true when she was 13 years old, singing at the Charlotte Coliseum. And Jeff has prophesied many things to me, and every one of them has yes. came to pass. Every one of them. Uh, during all of that time, I know you, God brought you through situations. And I know there's many people out there that are maybe going through situations at this time. And you know they might not even know the Lord. And how can this how can this be? But you know if God can go through a life that you know you've gone through that, and He can touch other lives, just uh, submission to the Lord and knowing and believing, just believing. You didn't see things in the natural. You couldn't. Mm -hmm. You have to see things through the spiritual eyes, through God's eyes, Amen. through the eyes of love and compassion, Amen. and that faith that you had to grab hold of. Yes. There's others out there that need that faith right now. Uh, if you could just go ahead and say a prayer for people out there, if we could join hands and pray for certain situations. Father God, in the name of Jesus, your word says that you're the Lord God of all flesh and there's nothing too hard for you, God. Lord, I know that there's nothing too hard for you. You've healed me of a brain hemorrhage. You've healed me, God, of lymphoma when the doctors gave up. God, you made a way where there seemeth to be no way, God. You healed my daughter and restored her, God. There's nothing that you can't do, Lord. I thank you that you're the same God yesterday, today, and forever. And what you did then, you still do today. Lord, if there's anyone out there with needs, God, I ask that you heal them, God. I break the power of every hex curse spell, every psychic and soulish prayer, every negative word of prayer that's been spoken or prayed over anyone out there that needs deliverance in the name of Jesus. Oh God, I thank you for your goodness and your mercies for never failing us. We failed you, but God, you have never failed us. I thank you that what you've done for one, you'll do for yes. another. That your word says 
that there is nothing too difficult for you and what you do for others you'll do for me what you do for me you'll do for others lord i command all sickness and disease to leave that one that's watching right now god even the sharp pains in their heart god i command those pains to be gone and dissipated in the name of jesus and you know what i had cancer jesus. so bad that they wanted to give me medicines just to let me live comfortably till I died. And I refused them. And the doctor said, why, Miss Thomas? I said, I am a healing evangelist. Yes. Yes. How will it look when God yes. heals me of uh, cancer and then I have to go to drug rehab to get off drugs? No, sir, I don't mm. want anything you have. I'm trusting God. I said, I'm a healing evangelist. How would it look if I had to go to drug rehab to be off the mm, drugs? Mm. No, if God said it, he meant it. Yes, he, he said, verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but believe that those things which he says shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith. I believe, I even spoke to the scars from the cancer, the scar tissues, and all the scars have dissipated. And the doctors can't understand it. I call it a miracle. It is, it is. You know, I love to say this. It's a phrase uh, that I say on our television program. We serve the great, big, wonderful God. And thank you, Patricia, for allowing us to be here today. Thank you for having me. And now back to you, Jeff, in the studio. Thank you so much for watching today's program of The Jeff Wood Show. You are what this ministry is all about and helping mend the lives of broken, hurting people all throughout the world, over a half a billion and growing, thanks to friends and partners just like you. We want you to take time to write to us today at the address across your screen. And as you write to us, share with us your most urgent prayer request, your praise reports, how Ed and I love to hear your praise reports as well. And we'll unite our faith together with you for the miracles that you are in need of in your life. And the only way we can do this is as we stand together with you, our prayer partners and faith supporters, as you pledge your monthly financial support or your one-time gift. Whatever the Holy Spirit lays on your heart, please prayerfully consider becoming a Gideon 300 Club member today at $25 or more a month. You'll see the information across your screen. That's the Gideon 300 Club. Together, we can make a difference. God bless you. See you next time.